This is your brother Van Silk, not in my house. I've been kind of busy today. Today's Sunday. But you know what's it's important content. Important content. Man, 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 man. I gotta thank my brother Roland Martin from Roland Martin Unfiltered because if I didn't if I don't follow important things, you wouldn't find out an important thing for me to pass the message on. But I just found out this here that happened in Jacksonville, Florida. Earlier this month, about a week ago, which is about five hours away from me. But thank you to Roland Martin for bringing this to attention, people's attention. Because a lot of y'all don't follow real news. A lot of y'all are into the negativity. A lot of y'all are into nonsense. And while you're being uneducated and dumbed down and tricked, Everybody else is getting their stuff together. They're getting their act together. Well, three suspects, three white suspect, suspects was charged with the shooting death of a black man whose name has not been released yet. 39-year-old black man in Jacksonville, Florida. Ryan Nichols, 19, was charged Thursday with second-degree murder. Daniel DeGuardia, 18, and Holden Dobson, 21, have been charged with accessory after the fact in the murder. The three men are white. Judge Vice, DeGuardia, and Dawson, they may have hate crime charges added to their offense, according to a local outlet, First, First Coast News. But they say based on the allegation that the three white men have been chasing the black victim for no apparent reason. Now they found this body near a dumpster But see, this is what authorities are doing. <laughs> the authority, the agency, law enforcement agencies, told the outlet there's no information yet that evidence of this of being a hate crime. Of course not. It's no different than not too long ago in New York, Jordan Neely was chokehold on the train. Broad daylight, New York City. The authorities have not released the name of the victim, but they say during the course of the investigation, detectives found evidence that led them to the possible suspect vehicle in the area where the shooting occurred. The report stated that the suspect was observed chasing the victim and approaching him as the victim was trying to hide behind a dumpster before the suspect got in the vehicle and left the scene. Now, as I was reading other articles, because you know they want to have the narratives go their way, because dead man can't talk. They're saying the drug deal going bad. So if a drug deal going bad, does so that mean these three without buying drugs and evidently he was selling drugs. Of course they're going to say that because he can't talk. And depending on where the area is in, in Jacksonville, on what side it is, depending on the zip code, anything can be said. But let's go back here to this article here. Because... You know, everybody going to write it their way and they want to try to make it their way because if it's a drug deal going bad, boom. Okay, Nicholas was held without bail. LaGuardia is being held on $500,000 bail and Dobson is being held on $200,000. This is sad. I guess we have more about this story as it materialized. But um, I need you to follow me on rumble.com. I need you to follow me on youtube.com. Anchor Podcast, Spotify. Not in my house with Van Silk. 
I mean, things like this bother me. But I just want people to remember. The authorities will try to make this a drug deal going bad. And next thing you know, these three guys are going to plead out. And, and watch, just watch. I'm going to keep you abreast of this case. If not, check out Roland Martin, Unfiltered. Because we, this is stuff that we need to know about. Not all this other nonsense. We need to know about things like this. Culture media is greater than social media. And I'm bringing you culture media. This is Van Silk, not in my house.